This is Adam from Edge. I'm here with Andrew Douglas. How are you doing, Andrew? Hey, guys. Doing well. Now, you're one of the speakers here at Tech Ed Australia this year. Yes, that's right. Tell me what your session's about. Uh, I may be biased, but personally, I think one of the best sessions. Uh, I have Windows 7 After Hours, which is Xboxes and media centers and touch screens and, and all of the good stuff you've always wanted to do and all the chill stuff for when you get home. Okay, so everybody else has got these technical sessions, how it works in business. You're really after... The, the, the entertainment side of Windows 7. That's right, making it uh, uh, rock your world at home. Okay. What are some of the improvements that you've seen that you like about uh, Windows 7 in that home space? Oh, look, there's so many things, but I have to say stability and speed. Uh, I mean, it's an absolute pleasure to use. Uh, for those fellow geeks out there, the WAF, the wife acceptance vector, very, very high, uh, very accepting, and uh, a, a lot of brownie points there. Cool. Now you've got a couple of machines set up. You want to show us yes, what you've here's, got? Yes, uh, here's my demo gear. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll run through and, and show people what they're in for. All right, let me get around. Uh, okay, guys, this is the hub. This is where everything happens. This is uh, uh, Windows 7 uh, on, on a lovely PC here. It's got uh, quad tuners, and as you can see, uh, Australian channels across the board there. That's the native EGB, uh, EPG. Uh, nothing additional required. Just turn the media center on and it's ready to go. And all driven, uh, I can put the keyboard away and forget about it completely. And uh, at my home, I have uh, a nice PC and a nice amplifier case sits underneath and uh, uh, driven with this. And I just go through. Uh, if I had the desire to do so, I could just record four channels, one after the other. I uh, can also do native movie support. Uh, these are all DVDs that I've copied straight onto the hard drive. I have a three-year-old. I suffer from Vegemite toast and the CD drive. And I can just go through, play those. Uh, as well as that, there's also native support for, uh, for DivX and a variety of other codecs, and it all works just straight out of the box. It's a, it's a really great improvement. Okay, cool. Uh, but the most spectacular part is all of this I can also do on my Xboxes as an extender. Uh, sadly, I don't have a, a nice big screen TV to plug these into, but I will once I get into the theatre. Kind of looking forward to playing a bit of Halo on the, the really big, big screen. That should be fun. And uh, I can have up to three or four of these around the house, uh, all streaming movies and video and content from... Uh, from my media center. Okay. Now, um, the next bit of demo gear that I've got here is my multi-touch screen. And it's just fabulous. I mean, it sits at home, uh, either in the lounge room or the kitchen. I mean, we just pick it up and plug it in. It's, it's, it's just one unit. And as you can see there, just touch the screen and it uh, uh, works there. All sorts of wonderful videos on Edge uh, about the multi-touch there. Uh, things like Paintbrush, for example. As you can see, two fingers, two oh, lines wow. there. Okay. Uh, it, and it's an awful lot of fun to sit home and do some finger painting. And uh, uh, lastly is our uh, little HP Minis that all the delegates got given here at TechEd. Uh, fabulous little device powered by Windows 7, uh, just rockets along. And uh, what I've done is I've taken my arcade machine, which we'll have a look at shortly, and put all of it into here with the uh, Xbox 360 controller as well plug straight into the machine and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, cool. Uh, you. Guys, this is all the, the PCs and stuff that I've got here, but let's go down and uh, let's go down and check out the arcade machine. Windows 7 powered and, and all sorts of goodness. Let's go down. All right, cool. Okay, guys, and here it is. Here's my Windows 7 uh, powered arcade machine. Uh, built in a weekend uh, for a couple of hundred dollars Australian. Uh, essentially, it's a uh, uh, Windows 7 PC uh, inside a, uh, a little bit of timber. Uh, down in there, there's a, a great big old 21-inch uh, uh, CRT monitor. Uh, I chose CRT for that very uh, old-school look. I did put an LCD in there, but it just looked wrong. It was so crisp and clear and beautiful. And all the memories I have growing up of arcade machines, well, are just that little bit dodgy. So that lovely bit of dodginess uh, certainly helps there. And uh, uh, it really wasn't that hard. Uh, most, of the, um, uh, most of the interaction happens through here. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're classic arcade controls, and you can give them quite a thumping, as, uh, as I tend to do. And it's, uh, uh, if you jump on the internet and do a search for uh, USB gaming, or uh, uh, as you can see, it's uh, just a sealed unit, and there's just a plug on the back. So you just plug that into the computer, and you're ready to go. And um, uh, sometimes you just need a keyboard, not very often, but uh, if you can see it down here, I have a keyboard drawer and a keyboard tucked away, which allows me, on those rare occasions that I do need a keyboard, to, uh, to get to that quite quickly. 
But most of the time, well actually all of the time, I live in, uh, in Media Centre. Uh, my arcade machine, it sits out on the deck. Uh, I can sit and watch movies and TV and uh, all the things that you love to do. And there's something very blokey and a little bit cool about sitting on the deck with some beers and a barbecue watching Lethal Weapon on an arcade machine. You may think I'm a little bit crazy, uh, but it really appeals to me. And uh, as you can see, just on the screen there, there's actually a plug-in that you can, uh, uh, from the wonderful lads at GameX, you download it, you install it, and uh, the emulators will actually show up uh, in Media Center there natively, so you can just select it. And if you've got the desire to do so, you can run games from your old Atari 2600 or Commodore 64, um, right through to some of the arcade classics uh, and everything in between. So what have you got planned next for this unit? What's going to happen now? Oh, I've got uh, two lovely things there. Uh, I'm, uh, my next process is I'm building a, a Surface in one of the classic uh, tabletop arcade machines. And uh, uh, before I can do that, I have to do one more very special thing with this, but you'll have to wait till the mobile smackdown to, uh, to see what happens there. All right, we're going to come watch that. Thanks. Right.